What's up guys, Adam here with another video and in today's video I'm going to be introducing you to and installing this Defiant Timer Light Switch. And there may be numerous reasons why you're thinking about installing some sort of a smarter light switch. Um, maybe you're going on vacation and you want it to appear like someone is at home at all times. Or maybe you just want the lights to turn on and off at a specific time every single day. Whatever the case, I've had these light switches installed in the house for quite a while now. They've worked really well and they provide exactly all of those things. So before I get into the specifications on it and what we're going to be installing today and the actual installation itself, if you're new to the channel, please consider hitting that red subscribe button down below so you don't miss any of my new how-to and do-it-yourself videos for around your home. And if you find the information in the video to be helpful to you, please let me know by leaving a comment down below and also giving the video a thumbs up. Now, this particular light switch, it can be programmed for seven days. You can program it for dusk to dawn. You can program it for specific times. You can even program it to randomly turn on so that it looks like somebody is home at random times during the evening. And this switch is a three-way switch as well. So if the light that you're wanting to power is on a three-way switch, this switch will work with it. You would just need to connect the traveler wire into the back of this light switch. So let's go over to the workbench, take a look at what parts come with this light switch, and then we'll get into the installation part of the video. All right, guys, so this is pretty much everything that comes with the light switch itself. This is just the original packaging that it came in. It's got a little bit of information on it. Then, of course, we've got the instructions, which I really encourage you when you're wiring this thing up, make sure that you're following these instructions step by step. We've got a couple of white jumper wires over here. And we're, in the case of this installation, we're only going to end up using one of those, but I'll show you how and what those are used for in just a little bit. And then, of course, we've got the light switch itself. And like I mentioned, the light switch comes with quite a few different modes. You can set it to turn on or off at dusk and dawn, or you can set it to random times that maybe you just want it to turn on randomly during the night because you're on vacation and you want it to look like somebody's at home. Or of course, you can just set it to a specific time for it to turn on and off each day. And then this over here is just a almond colored faceplate. If you don't like the pure white faceplate that's already on the switch itself, or it doesn't match your current light switches, then you can of course install this. It would just, you'd pop this white one off and then put the almond colored one in its place. So then it would match your other switches and cover for your box. And then of course it just comes with a couple of screws that are made to go into the top and bottom here of the light switch that then tighten it down into the light switch box itself. All right, so now we can start with the installation portion of the video. But before we can start installing this new light switch or removing the one that's already in there, we need to make sure that there's no power going to that light switch. So you need to locate the circuit breaker in your main panel that sends the power to that light switch and turn it to the off position. Once you've done that, we need to actually confirm that there is no power going to it. So you need to use a multimeter. And once you've confirmed with a multimeter that there's no power going to it, then you can get started with removing the old light switch. All right, so now that we've confirmed that the power is off using our multimeter, we can now remove all the wires out of this old light switch. And that's gonna include these two black wires here and on the bottom, this ground wire. Something that's important is you need to know which ones are your line and your load wires. Sometimes they're gonna be a different color. In this case, they're both black. So you can use your multimeter before you turn the power off and figure out which one of these is your load. So what I like to do is I usually just take a piece of black electrical tape and I put it on my line wire just so that I don't get them confused later. I know which one is which for the new switch. So we can go ahead and start removing these now. All right, so now that we've got the old light switch removed, we can start installing our new timer switch. And on the back, you're gonna see, it's gonna tell you exactly which wires go where. All right, so the first wire that I'm going to install is gonna be the ground wire, and that's gonna go down here in the bottom of the light switch. Once you get it inserted in there, you're gonna take your screwdriver and tighten it down on top of it. Make sure that it's nice and tight. 
All right, next I'm going to take this wire here. It does not have the tape on it. So that is the load wire and it's going to go into the top right part of the light switch that is labeled load. All right, so now we can take the line wire, which we put a piece of tape on to designate it, and we're gonna put it down here in the bottom right of the light switch. And really just make sure that when you tighten these down, that you really tighten them down so that when you're putting it back in here, there's no chance of these wires being pulled out. All right, so last but not least, we need to connect a neutral wire, and that's where that jumper wire comes in that we showed you at the beginning. And the where you're going to connect this to is going to be usually they're in the very back of the box and they're all going to be together. A lot of them are wire nutted together and you're going to pull that out where all your neutral wires are. And you're going to take that jumper wire and connect it into where all the neutral wires are already connected. So just give that a tug, make sure that it's in there. So now we've got our neutral wire. Put in with the rest of the neutral wires we can insert it into the back of the light switch here in the bottom left where it says neutral all right so now that everything's been wired up we can put everything back into the box and we can take our screws and the the light switch did come with its own screws but more than likely you're just going to use the ones that you originally pulled out because, like in this case, they needed to be longer screws in order to get it all the way back in that box. All right, now before I put the faceplate back on this box, I usually like to make sure that it is working so I don't have to take it back off and start over again. So let's turn the power back on to that circuit. All right, so now that the power's back on, as you can see, the time is showing. It's not set yet, but it's showing a time. It's showing auto, off. If I push this button here, that just manually turns the power on and off, and now we've got that nice blue display showing up. So now we know that everything is hooked up correctly, and we can start programming this. So obviously the original cover that we took off of here is not gonna work anymore. The light switch is completely different, so you're gonna have to go get something that looks like this. And you may be able to find this in your local home improvement store, depending on your configuration, but this one was bought on Amazon. They have a pretty good selection there that you can find this. All right, so I'm gonna give you a brief overview on how to then program this. This right here will flap down. It serves as a manual switch to turn the lights on and off. But then it also flips down from the top. And the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna to wanna to set the time. So we're gonna push this button here that says set, clock, use our up and down buttons here and set it to the time. All right, so now that that's set, we can hit set. The, we'll select our calendar year. This year is 2020. Set the month. Currently we are in September. Set, and then today's date is the 19th. 19, set. And then this is if you're on daylight savings time or not, which we are, so we'll leave that on. And then you need to select what zone you're in. And the instructions are going to walk you through all of this and explain it a little bit better. All right, so now this is going to ask you what time dusk and dawn is, so that if you decide that you want to set it to dusk and dawn to turn on, it knows what time to then do that. And it keeps track of by the day as to when dusk and dawn should be during that part of the year. So we just select this as dusk, hit set, dawn. You can set to whatever time that it's supposed to be, hit set. And now everything is set up inside of it, knowing what time it is, the date, what dusk and dawn times are. So now we can go in and program it to now actually run the lights. So we'd hit program and PRG1 would turn it on. So we'd hit set and you want to then pick what days you want to set it to. Right now, it's blinking all of the days, so that's what I would want. So we'll hit set again. Now you can pick what time. You can pick dawn, dusk to turn on, 
or select an actual time. If you want to select an actual time, you hit set and you'll select an actual time. But in this case, I want them to turn on at dusk. So I'm going to hit set then hit PRG again. And now it's asking for when you want to turn it off. So we'll do the same thing again by hitting set all the days. We don't want time. In this case, I want it to shut off at dawn, set, and that's pretty much it. And then one last button I'll go over is up here in the top right. It says MOD slash DEL, which is mode and delete. If you push that, it's going to change whether or not your device is set to auto turn on. Just uh, Or if you push it again, it'll set it to manual only, so only you can turn it on and off. And then you can also push it again, and it sets it to R&D, which is random. So that's just a brief overview on how to program it. Use your instruction manual to dive into it deeper. All right, guys, so that's pretty much all there is to installing an automatic timer light switch. It really wasn't too difficult, as you saw, but if you still don't feel comfortable and there's nothing wrong with that, then I would really encourage you to contact your locally licensed electrician, and they're going to pop that thing in in no time. We went over a little bit of the programming of it, pretty basic stuff. There's a little bit more information. You can really you can dive a little bit more into detail on some of the settings that you can find in your instruction manual. It really just depends on your scenario, but it's going to really be able to walk you through the programming of it step by step. So all pretty easy. So I hope that you found this video to be helpful and informative to you. If you did, please let me know by leaving a comment down in the comment section down below and also giving the video a thumbs up. And if you like how-tos and do-it-yourself type videos like this one for around your home, then consider subscribing to the channel. I have a new video coming out every single week and I've got a bunch of videos that you can check out now. So consider subscribing and I hope to see you in the next video.